Welcome to the video. Today I wanted to do a cooking video. I really enjoy watching cooking videos and I find them really relaxing and interesting to learn how to cook a new meal. So this video I'll be making a vegetable These are the ingredients that I'm using. You can use pretty much whatever vegetables you like best. I am using onion, mushroom, bell pepper, broccoli, and spinach. This recipe is very simple to make if you don't have a lot of skills at cooking. That's okay, you don't really need it. And you can actually buy all your vegetables pre-cut or even frozen if you want to. And that's totally So make the recipe harder if you want to make the curry spices from scratch. I am just using a store-bought curry paste. I actually just bought this knife and cutting board. So this is my first time using it. If it looks like I'm going to cut my hand off, that's just because I'm not used to the equipment. But don't worry, I will be saving the hand cutting trigger. through the whole video, I want to leave some of that cooking sound ambient, so if you want to put the video on in the background, you can pretend I am preparing this meal for you. I just wanted to mention the other ingredients that will be used in this video besides the vegetables. You'll need a can of coconut milk. I suggest using just the full fat version. That way you'll get the most flavor out of the meal. You'll also need some kind of curry paste or curry. So use cayenne pepper to increase the spice level of my curry. The paste I bought says it's hot, but it really is not hot at all. So if you want spicy food, you can add cayenne pepper or any other of your favorite spice. And you can also use a little bit of rice vinegar for added flavor. easiest way I've found to get the seeds out of a bell pepper is to do this circular cut on the top where the stem is and then rinse out the bell pepper with the air in your sink and scrape out all those seeds and then dump them in the sink so it's very
extreme there. Once you have all your vegetables chopped, you can put them in your pan. Or what I'm using here is actually a big Dutch oven because of the amount of vegetables I'm using. It's just very easy to put them all in this one big pot. So in this pot, I have olive oil. And we're just going to start putting in all the vegetables. These vegetables on uh, medium high heat for about 10 minutes or so to get them tender. And then you can add in your curry paste or curry powder, whatever you're using. You can always add more later.
Okay, so this is me trying to make the meal look fancy. I don't have any presentation skills, so I basically just put an avocado on top and that makes it fancy. 
can't see right. This is also the part where you would add cayenne if you wanted to make it spicier. And you can also add in the rice vinegar as well. Okay, so that's the meal. Let me know if you guys like curry. Let me know if you have any suggestions for other vegetarian or vegan meals that I can try. There is some bonus footage in here of a vegan brownie dessert. I found this recipe online. It's literally three ingredients. So I thought I'd give it a shot to see how it is. Basically, you take three bananas and mash them up. If you have a utensil that's better than a fork, I suggest using it because it does take some time with the fork. So after you mash up the banana, you add a cup and a half of almond butter, or peanut butter works as well, I think. Basically, it's like a 16-ounce jar. You use the whole thing. So mix that up real good. And then the third ingredient that you're going to use is a half cup of cocoa powder. So that's it. For the vegan brownies, you just mix this all up and then put it in a square brownie tin. And I believe you cook it at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 minutes is what I did. Now, I did add some of these dark chocolate baking chips, which has milk fat in it. So this version was not vegan, but if you have vegan dark chocolate, you can add that in there or any other sort of vegan toppings. You know how my cat was napping when I was making the curry? Well, he decided he was going to come help me make these brownies, so here he comes. Jesus, dude. Yeah, so he's real helpful in the kitchen. Basically, you just put the mixture in your pan right here, spread it all out evenly, and then put it in the oven. This is what it looks like when it's done. This was probably the easiest thing I've ever baked, and I think anybody could easily make this. For only being three ingredients, it came out really good. I would describe it as a mixture of banana bread and a brownie. It came out really well and moist. If you like it even fudgier, you can probably cook it for a couple minutes less than I did. I ended up storing it in the refrigerator after I was done, and it is really good even when it's cold. That's the end. I hope you guys enjoyed and found it relaxing. I will see you all in the next video.